Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I hope that you guys are having an awesome day wherever you are. In today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a first impression drugstore haul for you guys. I'm really excited about this because I am loving the way that the makeup came out. It looks really nice and dewy and just the glow. Guys, yes, yes, you guys know this is one of my favorite looks, especially when the skin looks nice and natural and dewy. I think this is going to probably be my new everyday foundation because I am really in love with this and I finally got the right shade and something by L'Oreal, okay? So I'm excited about this video, guys. Hopefully you are too to um, actually get my first impressions on the product that I picked up and the reasons why I love them so if you're new to my channel go ahead and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you would like to see more makeup tutorials and thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video okay so I'm gonna go ahead and get started so I'm gonna be using the L'Oreal Paris true match Lumi cushion foundation a lot of people have been talking about this I have the color w5.5 so we're going to test this out and see. So as you open it, it has a mirror up here. And then it also has a puff in there that I see. And then on the bottom, it has an opening little part. So you're getting something that looks like this. And then this is where the foundation actually is. Now I know a lot of people have been using the puff. I, however, am going to use... Um, this. The next I'm going to do is I'm going to prime my eyes one by Essence. This is actually an older one. This one's very comparable to the Urban Decay um, primer potion. So if you're looking for one, this is a good one. Drugstore price. You cannot beat it. And as you guys know, I said I was going to start doing a lot more drugstore tutorials. And in the midst of that, I'm going to go back and I'm going to do individual videos on highlighting and contouring and everything. And also, when you're doing, when I do those videos, I'm going to try to, you know, everyone's not going to contour the same way I do. Everyone's face is different. And I also found out for me that I was actually taking my contour down a little bit too far this way. And it wasn't really slimming my face down. I actually needed to bring it up more up here to actually get a slimmer appearance. So, like I said, makeup is just a bunch of trial and errors. And you just have to really play around with it to see actually what's going to work for you. So this is the new Milani palette that they came out with. And this is the one in Earthy Elements. And this is the one that I'm going to be using today for this tutorial. And I've never used it before, so I don't know what we're going to do with this exactly. Today is kind of my lazy day. Um, I went to the drugstore this morning. I picked up some things. I just came back and got in my PJs. Like, <laughs> I did not feel that it was, you know, a need for me to put on really fancy clothes just to film a video. So I'm going to be going into this brown shade right here. And I love that they give you two transition shades that you can actually work with. So that's a good thing. And this is pretty pigmented. This reminds me a lot of the one by Anastasia Beverly Hills. What is it? Coco something? That color. Really pretty. And you don't always have to buy those high-end palettes. And that's why I was telling you guys. There are a lot of great products at the drugstore. This is actually blending out really, really well. Surprisingly. But Milani always does a good job with their eyeshadows. And they also have some eyeshadow palettes that I noticed um, from another brand. It wasn't Milani, but those replicate the Urban Decay ones pretty much exactly. And I know a lot of people that buy drugstore. I know that's something you've been waiting for for quite a while. So there are actually some, um, there's actually some of them out there. I didn't pick those up because I own the um, Naked palettes. So it wasn't a need for me to necessarily pick them up. And I don't want to do a giveaway and give you guys something that I've never tried because, let's just face it, you don't do stuff like that. You know, if you've never tried the product, why should I try to get you guys to try it? You know, especially if I don't know, you know, if I don't know too much about the product myself, I would feel really bad, you know, giving it to you guys and being like, oh yeah, this is really great, you guys need to try it. Especially if I've never tried it, I don't know, the shadows could be, have a lot of fallout. Or they could just be bad shadows and I don't want to give someone something that I wouldn't necessarily wear. So that's the reason why there. And I know some people are fine with that and others aren't. But I'm the type where if I, if I can't personally recommend it to you guys, I'm not going to talk about it. 
or if I get sent a product for review and if I think that the product is not worthy to be mentioned then I won't mention it. The products that I mention on my channel are things that I can actually stand behind um, like with the sexy box and you guys know I have that affiliate code and everything. I had purchased from sexy box way before then and I have a video on that too. So it's not like they just up and sent me the items and you know I did a false review or anything because I didn't and I wouldn't. Um, to me you guys opinion is verily it speaks verily you know it speaks of me you know and I want when people think of me especially when you think of my channel I want people to be happy you know with what the stuff I'm talking about I want people to actually come to my channel because you trust my opinion not because of you know of faulty reviews and stuff like that you know and that really hurts you in the long run I know a lot of people give reviews and they're like oh this product is great and you need to try this and da, da 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 and then by the time you go out there and get it you're like what in the world was I thinking when I picked this up I'm gonna go ahead and line my eyes now now the eye pencil that I'm gonna use today guys I have to admit this is not one a drugstore okay I'm gonna be using the Sephora one it's not drugstore But we can need to talk about this too. Drugstore prices are like crazy, you guys. Like the cushion foundation that I'm using for the tutorial today. $16.99 at Walgreens. To me, guys, that is absolutely crazy. You know, and I'm pretty sure I'm not even gonna line them. I'm just gonna go ahead and, and put my scare on them. I'm using the Lash Accelerator by Rummel. That is absolutely crazy to me, guys, that they are getting to be just as expensive as high-end brand foundations. I mean, let's face it, a couple more dollars here, and you would be basically paying for bare minerals, you know? So I, I really think it's crazy that the drugstore of all places is raising their prices. I can see kind of why they're doing it, you know? to see how far they can push the bar but at the same time it's like come on now some of these people are really high end like Tom Ford and all of those and drugstore now is probably getting pretty close to it um I was watching the news and they said there was going to be inflation like on a couple of things especially of course education and food you can always look for that to go up but I mean come on people sixteen dollars for a drugstore foundation like it better be the ball <laughs> it better be the ball so hopefully it is hopefully it's not gonna be too yellow on my skin I've always had a really hard time you guys finding my shade in the L'Oreal true match now using the L'Oreal Lumi cushion foundation It comes with the sponge. I'm actually going to use a um, beauty blender. Oh, it's a lot of it. So this is close to my color. It's not exactly my color. But the coverage on this looks pretty good, guys. Okay, you can see it's not really my color, but we'll work with it. We shall work with it and make it do what it do. And my main reason for wanting to purchase this was because it's luminous. Okay, so I'm blending it out, guys. And I have to say, this is really not bad. I was looking, I wanted something that was going to be luminous on my skin. And you guys can already see that. That is like, what? So drugstore really did it on this. I'm actually really, really liking this. I'm gonna put just a little bit more on. I'm gonna use a brush this time. I'm gonna get in there and get some of it. It goes on kind of wet like a liquid. But I really don't think. But it feels it feels really good on the face. So definitely impressed with this. 
okay now as you can see of course it did take out some of the coloring on my face and to me that's no big deal because I'm gonna go in I'm gonna bronze and stuff too that's why I got bronzers and all that so I really like it thus far it's really good it definitely gives that luminous look to it and you guys can see it and it's probably even gonna look better I would imagine as it sets during the day so for concealer I'm gonna be using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. I had some other shades, but I'm going to try to use this one and see how it works. Um, the shade I'm in using now is in Warm Beige with this. And I haven't really used this in such a long time, so it might not even be my color. <laughs> the NYX. This is the Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I do believe this is new. I haven't seen anyone talking about it, but I do believe this is some of the new NYX products. And if for those of you that are wondering, this is one that I did purchase from Ulta Beauty. Because I know sometimes the drugstore, some places like that don't necessarily sell like, you know, just all the other stuff. So, that's the reason why I went ahead and mentioned it. It's a cream contouring palette. And I actually like it. And you guys can see I put that contour up a little higher. And then, see, you can see. And then I just rub it like that. And then I'll just blend it out. Okay, and then I'm going to take just a little bit to run down the bridge of the nose. So the next thing I'm going to do a palette for highlighting by Wet n Wild and this is the um, Mega Glow palette and it said it was new. Guys I'm like so out of touch with drugstore items so don't judge me. I'm sorry that I'm just like fumbling through this video. It will get better. I'm going to start doing more drugstore tutorials for you guys and everything and you guys already know that. So, this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. Um, I do happen to love this gold color over there. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is a really pretty highlight palette. So, this would be basically very comparable to Becca's for a lot cheaper, guys. Because I think Becca pretty much came out with all of these colors. This one would be more like the Jaclyn Hill one. Then you have more of the rose gold then you have more of like your opal, pinky kind, pinky white kind, looking like opal. And then you have your pearl. Or this would be pearl. And maybe this one over here would be the the other one. Yeah. Yeah, guys. So you might want to get in on this palette because it's really pretty. I'm just going to mix all of them together. Tap off the excess and get that glow going. <coughs> really soft, too. And you guys can see that. I know you can because I feel like I can see it a mile away. <laughs> but guys, that is beautiful. Look at that. Just, do you guys see that? It's beautiful. Okay. A big mistake by me. I did not set my under eye concealer and I see it creasing or trying to crease. I don't have a drugstore powder that I use. So I'm just going to use my one from Sephora. And like I said, it'll get better. I'll get better with this. Excuse my Yorkie. We're barking. My husband is down there with him. And it's Sunday when I'm recording this. So they're probably down there watching football. Okay, so powder underneath my eye for my con for my shadow want um you know go crazy. Okay. 
look at this guys all drugstore products this is what I'm telling you guys drugstore products have really upped up their game this looks really great I'm really really liking this okay blush I noticed that Wet n Wild were saying that they had new blushes out but they pretty much look like the ones that I already knew of um, so I'm just going to use something that I have um, I really like the way this looks I'm actually going to just use <laughs> this NYX blush it's an old one um, it's in the color paradise I'm just going to use that for today until I really find a drugstore blush that I like I know Milani has a lot a lot of blushes and I really like those but I'm just I don't know look at that that is like glow for days you okay booby you sure so that's the glow it looks a little pink on camera I think it looks a little pink in person too so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna blend this out okay so I'm just blending this out a little bit guys but I really do like this keep in mind I done this without any primer or anything like that on the face it feels really nice on my skin it looks really nice and dewy as you guys can tell the highlight everything I picked up definitely worth checking out thank you guys so much for watching the video if you want to see more drugstore tutorials or more first um, first impressions then definitely give me a thumbs up below and I will see you guys in the very next video Bye.